Well, Manchester United looks like they are really eyeing to bring in who we call another midfielder. After selling Scott McTominay, they are really looking forward to obviously getting in under midfielder. And guess who that is? It looks like it's Rabio that they are really looking at obviously getting through at the club of Manchester United. Welcome to this channel. This is the United Matters channel. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Second video of the day and more is yet to come. And I'm planning to obviously sit with obviously drop another video. Two hours from now, I'm really going to be dropping it. Now, we thank God for the gift of life. The Muslims, Barakallahu Fikum, and may the living to God bless you and bless you abundantly. So, let's see close to 100 likes marking this video. Continue to subscribe because we won't hit 20,000 subscribers. And how do you subscribe? Lower right bottom corner is the place to be. Smash the black button that has... Uh, smash the black button that has the word subscribe after smashing it. Hit the notification bell that will never you get notified every time I upload a video onto this channel. Now, um, some people <clears throat> try or tend to forget that United was really in need of two midfielders, you know, with or without Scott McTominay living. And with Scott McTominay living, it is a confirmation that we need all we needed more and more and more and more and more of those to put in the required shift possible into the mix. And I tell you what, I'm really excited to see to it that we are being linked to this guy. And I don't know what your thoughts are, but for me, I'm really, 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 really very positive about this. And I'm going to be coming up, obviously, to you know why. I'm really excited that we are linked to a man known as, known as, Adrian Rabio. That's why you should smash the like button close to 100 times into the mix. Now, let's obviously <clears throat> get going and um, cross Daily Star. Not all that credible, but they had something to say about this. Um, they had something to say about um, they had something to say about this deal. They said Manchester United are set to hold talks with Adrian Rabio as Eric Ten Hag looks to strengthen his midfield options ahead of what will prove to be a long season. So, <clears throat> Manchester United are set to hold talks with Adrian Rabio. Eric Ten Hag looks to strengthen his midfield options ahead of what will prove to be a long season. Obviously, if you haven't gone ahead to know that it's really going to be a long season, then you need to obviously rectify and see to it that you really get him the best of the best. Why? One, <clears throat> right? We are playing in how many competitions? We are playing into the UEFA Europa League. There is the Carabao Cup. There is the FA Cup. There is what we call the Premier League. Now, if you are playing in all those competitions, you need to obviously have a very good squad. When you look at that midfield of Manchester United, we don't have two players per position. How? When you look at the CDM, <clears throat> you can talk about um, you can talk about Casimiro and Ugate, right? Now, let's go to Kobe Menu. We are having Kobe Menu and we are having Ericsson, of which for me, I believe Ericsson is really off and there is no way he's really going to come up and obviously put in the required shift altogether. And I can no way come out and really tell you that I can trust Ericsson to come in through and obviously do the need for the club of Manchester United. I think he's a player that United have just chosen to keep around to see how things go on because they couldn't bring in another midfielder. But with their coming in through... But with the availability of a player like Rabio, I tell you, Man United will have to think twice on what to do. And all what they have to do is simple. Go ahead and really get in a guy called Adrian Rabio. You now know why we need a room Rabio. Because we will be one injury away in that midfield to see the reason as to why we need in these people. And that is it. We will be one injury away, especially either Kobe Mainu or Casimiro. If Kobe Menu gets injured, that means you'll always have to play Ugate in every game to play on the weekend 
and the midweek and you're exhausting him a lot you understand so that's why united need to sit in the obviously get him a, another player to strengthen their season you understand and in the due course of strengthening their season they will need loads and loads and loads of things to obviously find themselves into the best position possible to really be what we call ready for the season because <clears throat> We might go on a very good run of like 15 games, but just one injury will obviously cost Manchester United. For example, look at a player called look at a player called um, look at a player called Manuel Ugarte. He gets injured. We go back to the levels we've been and complaining about Casemiro. You understand? So this is why the signing of this guy is really important because for me, I don't really think Ericsson will do a job. And if at all you're having Kobe Mainu, Manuel Ugate, Casimiro, and um, and Rabio, I think we'll be good to go. As Rabio will obviously come in through and compete with anyone into that midfield. He can play as a number six. He can play as a number eight. He can play as a number ten. He can also play as a left back. He can also play as a left forward. He can play as a right forward. He is a multi-dimensional player. And to show you that, he is really... <coughs> He's really a hot cake. Very many teams, Arsenal, Liverpool, are really trying to lure him into their convincement to join them. So, he's a player that I believe Manchester United needs. I know some of you might be having your own reservations over him, but I'm 100% sure he's that guy that we need in, in that midfield. Don't talk about Ericsson. Don't talk about Toby Collier. We need Arbyan Rabio into that midfield because the earlier plan was get into midfielders without Scott McTominay leaving and if Scott McTominay left that means we need like three and if you only brought in one that means there is a void of two you remember how we suffered last season you know and who tells you that those injuries are not gonna come in through because these games are gonna be coming in thick and fast so let's think about it first and see to it that things really move on fast and really get this get this guy in here and when you look at uh one of the credit by journalists <clears throat> santi j and uh, kamal gozo who is a journalist football reporter and santi j who works for marketo has come out and told us that man united have held discussions with adrian rabio in recent days united have a better relationship with the player's agent because the salary demands have decreased now you know United and what has gonna hit obviously stop many players from coming in through to play for the club of Manchester United it has all been about one thing it has all been about the salary <clears throat> and looks like Adrian Rabio would love to come in through and really play at Manchester United at a reduced wage and um, I think he won't exceed like 200,000 pounds a week because if United brought in uh, Matthias Delit and they gave him £195,000 a week and they paid €40 million Euros to, the side of PA, to the side of Bayern Munich, that means for a player who is coming in as a free agent, you can obviously offer him a salary of £200,000 a week. And for me, it's fair because we've got to hit to reduce the amount of people that are into that £200,000 plus weekly wages you know we now have uh casimiro uh bruno fernandez marcus rashford um who else harry maguire i think we're only having four you get so by so doing we can obviously get in other people we can only get in one player who can obviously get into that and most importantly we might see a player called Casimiro leave next season and that is it because United feel like if you're having Rabio, you're having Ugate, Toby Collier uh, integrating well into the team and obviously establishing himself in the team next season could be made into the mix you'll obviously need one more midfielder like Ederson or anyone that you can name of your choice to come in through and obviously get the job done and dusted that's why I tell you Man United should get in Rabio. When you get in Rabio, you obviously find yourself getting in one midfielder into or in 
the summer transfer window and focusing on other other areas like the central defense you know depending on how many you move totally move on harry Maguire and linder of that means you can bring in one or two to reinforce that central defense for the club of manchester united you understand so as it stands i know there are those that believe we don't need Man we don't need rabio but imagine if at all rabio goes to liverpool all us and performs very well and for us we are really down into that midfield when you look at those teams that are really interested in rabio they're really having vast options in the midfield when you look at arsenal they're having rice pate Jorginho. you understand and now they want they have merino also and they want to add on rabbi meaning they want to have five players that can really share that role into the double pivot and for manchester united how many are we having casemiro ugate mainu ericsson for me i don't count him guys i don't count him because his presence on the pitch cannot be felt anymore that is it for the man known as Manuel, sorry, known as Rabio. I don't know what your thoughts are about him, but I think he's he will obviously find United as the most ideal destination for him to go in and really get into the starting eleven because the side of Man United really has space for him to operate. But when you look at Arsenal, he has to overpower Declan Rice and Thomas Pat and Jorginho. Go past three those. Go past. Go past those four players plus Merino, it's not going to be something easy. You get at Liverpool, when you look at the midfield, McAllister, Gravenbach, so Basilai, you get him getting to that team, is really going to be hard. And this is why United should be pushing hard to get in Rabio and obviously get him on in that midfield. Guys, we need Rabio. We need Rabio because I would prefer that team of Manchester United to obviously have um Kobe Mainu mm, and Ugate and then the pair that will obviously come in through and really play into the Carabao Cup, UEFA Europa League being Casimiro and um Adrian Rabio. And sometimes you can rest Kobe Mainu and you bring in Rabio, you understand? Like that, you know? And Rabio can also play as a CDM. So that's the beauty of this guy, and that's why I'm dying to get him in because he's a versatile player. And I tell you, he's a quality player. He's a press resistant player. He's unselfish. He can really do that pass. And he's a left footed midfielder. A pass from that I believe you are lacking into that midfield. When you look at most of the midfield, Geno, most of the midfields, they're having the, they do have that left footed player amongst the three midfielders and we we miss one of those so i think his swift left foot can come in through to do a better job at the club of manchester united and that's why i'm dying to obviously have him at the club of manchester united so guys thank you very much for watching through rock and david is my name continue to subscribe to this channel go into the lower right bottom corner smash the black button that has that subscribe and after hit the notification bell so guys go into the comment section and tell me are you team rabio in or not united are holding talks with rabio to obviously join remember he's a free agent because most of you will be asking yourselves how come united are really holding talks with a player at the summer transform in order to close if a player is a free agent he can join in anytime he feels like and rabio is a free agent from juventus and he can come in through at any time he feels like at the club of Manchester United. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. Rock and David is my name. I sign up for now. See you later and may the living to God bless you and bless you abundantly. We out and a five fingers to those watching in through. Tomorrow, United early kick start against Southampton. The match preview is already up. You can come up and really tell me what your thoughts are about this fixture. Bye-bye.